on September 24, 2014. The Mars Orbiter spacecraft, after traveling 666 million kilometers, arrived at its destination in a hyperbolic trajectory. And from here, the orbiter will be inserted into the 423 by 80,000 kilometers elliptical orbit of Mars. By going into a, such an elliptical orbit, you can get the full disk images of the Mars a large number of times. And as you come towards the perigee when the sun illumination happens, you can get into the finer details. Mars orbit insertion is a very critical maneuver, which will be carried out with the combined visibility of 70 meters ground antennae located at Canberra and Goldstone, and the onboard medium gain antenna. It may be noted that Mars Orbiter mission entered the sphere of influence of Mars on 22nd September 2014. And the final trajectory correction maneuver was carried out on the same day. After reaching the Martian environment, spacecraft will have some velocity, which is less than the Mars itself. So due to that, what happens is, spacecraft moves towards the Martian center. So, and its velocity is of the order of say 3 kilometers relatively with respect to the Mars. Because of the gravity fall and it is moving towards the Mars center, it picks up the velocity due to the attraction of the Mars itself. So, this force is such that, that again with that velocity and it is moving, we cannot contain the spacecraft with respect to the Mars it escapes. For that sake, we need to reduce this velocity. So, reduction of this velocity and making the spacecraft to move around the Mars is the, is the phenomena what is called the Martian orbit insertion. Mars orbit insertion phase has demanded a large amount of preparation at spacecraft level. All the operations of Mars orbit insertion will be independently realized by the onboard processor by sequential execution of events without any ground intervention. The commands required for the same were loaded onto the satellite 9 to 10 days prior to this event, that is, on September 14 and 15, 2014. Mars orbit insertion operation starts with changeover to medium gain antenna three hours prior to liquid engine burn start. This will be followed by forward maneuver 21 minutes prior to liquid engine burn wherein the direction of satellite is changed and reoriented pointing it to the desired thrust direction so that the spacecraft velocity can be reduced by a desired amount. The spacecraft is held in the same configuration for some duration. Star sensors updates are enabled after forward maneuver. 5 minutes 13 seconds prior to burn start time. The satellite is eclipsed by Mars and hence the solar panels are unable to generate power as the sunlight is obstructed by Mars and doesn't reach it. In this case, the onboard lithium-ion 36 ampere hours batteries will provide the requisite power by the spacecraft. However, the spacecraft is still in the line of sight of Earth and will receive data from it. Thus, 5 minutes 13 seconds into eclipse, the actual burn start event will occur. Now, in this particular mission, after we did our initial start of trajectory towards Mars, that was on 1st of December, till 24th of September, practically about 10 months, you are traveling in space and this entire LAM engine and all the connected hardware has all been shut down and it is in the switched off condition. So one of the doubt that always comes to one's mind is, when you restart the LAM engine, will it start, will it fire? To verify this, we need to check the LAM engine operates or not. And when you fire the LAM engine for whatever duration you fire, it adds some velocity and it changes our insertion geometry and discussion. So based on this, we went through a lot of simulations and studies and tried to take advantage of a small four second test on the LAM engine by burning the, on the 
two days earlier to 24th firing the lamb engine for a duration of four seconds verifying that everything is fine so that we can operate the lamb engine on the 24th the criticality in this event is we need to do this operation at a particular time because spacecraft is moving continuously with respect to the mars unless very precisely we plan this operation at the time of periapsis then it calls for some penalty with respect to the fuel and also giving this delta v whatever we intend to give this delta v that also needs to be imported within some burn or conditions to realize the final destination orbit so with respect to time if you are not able to do and also your thruster is not in a position to give that required delta v within the stipulated time there is a very possibility that spacecraft again will not be in the intended martian orbit so that is how it becomes more time critical as well as the it also depends very crucially on the performance of our thruster the leb engine liquid engine bond engine the criticality of mars orbit insertion burn lies in the fact that the orbiter should get captured without crashing into mars or without leaving mars the liquid apogee motor is fired to slow down the orbiter's relative speed to the planet by 1109 meters per second and the velocity from 5.1 kilometers per second to 4.3 kilometers per second in relation to mars getting anywhere between 200 kilometers and 11000 kilometers will keep the orbiter in the martian orbit nearly 4 minutes 20 seconds after the burn start mars occult starts that is the mars orbiter will go behind the planet as a result no signal from the satellite will reach earth for a considerable amount of time nearly 20 minutes past the burn start time the orbiter is likely to come out of eclipse and though the solar panels will start receiving the sunlight it will continue to be operated on battery power this is because the satellite is still not in the line of sight of earth and hence the switch over is not performed the total duration of burn time is expected to be around 24 minutes The satellite will come out from behind the Mars approximately 28 minutes after burn start. And that's when the occult will end and the satellite will once again be in the line of sight of Earth. The power generation from solar panel and telemetry will be resumed nearly 2 and a half minutes after the end of occult and data on Doppler measurement from the satellite is received. which will give the first information on the total burn performance the reverse maneuver wherein the satellite is once again reoriented pointing the high gain antenna towards earth starts 1.5 minutes to nearly 23 minutes after the end of liquid engine burn the reverse maneuver ends nearly 11 minutes after the end of burn with the resumption of high gain antenna support the mars orbit insertion is completed thereafter in the next 2 hours the health parameters of the spacecraft will be verified and the sequential operationalization of its five payloads will be carried out over a period of few days